am here with a haul video. I have a total of 10 books to share because your girl has no self-control when she goes to the thrift store. So I picked up a couple of books. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I have is called The Dry and it's by Jane Harper and I saw this was super popular when it first came out. It's a thriller. It follows a federal agent who leaves his hometown and then he receives notice that his childhood best friend is dead and his whole family is murdered. He doesn't ever plan on returning back to his hometown but then he receives a note that says Luke lied, you lied, be at the funeral. So... It's kind of the story of that and trying to figure out what happened. I haven't seen a lot of people who have actually read the book, but when it first came out, a lot of people were talking about it on Twitter. So I saw it in the thrift store for $2. So I was like, need it. So now I have it. The next book I have I'm actually so excited about because it was one of my most anticipated releases when it first came out. So when I saw it at the thrift store, I was like, need it. That's gonna be the theme of this video, need it. So the book is The Girl Before, and this is by J.P. Delaney, and it follows two women who are potentially moving into a new apartment for very different reasons, but they are given the task to list every possession that they find important to their life. And it's like a thriller suspense novel. You know your girl loves her thriller suspense novels. It just sounds really good. The next book I have, Rocky from Blondes with a Book, will be very, very proud of me because she loves this book. But it is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. And all I really know about it is that it's a retelling of Sherlock Holmes, but she loves this book. So I saw it and I was like, need it so I got it. The next book I'm kind of bummed about because I saw it on the shelf and I thought it was a second book in a series but it turns out that it's the fourth book in the series <laughs> but it is The Enchanter Air by Cinda William Chima and this is the fourth book in the Air Chronicles so we're not the smartest. We have the first book. We don't have the second and third book, so we're gonna have to be on the lookout for that. I don't want to read the synopsis of this since it's the fourth book, so we ain't gonna do that. We're just gonna put it on a shelf and hope that we find the second and third books. The next book I bought solely because it said serial killer on the cover, and that is like my buzzword. Anything to do with serial killers or mental health, your girl is gonna buy that book. So it's like Killing Kate by Alex Lake and I don't know what it's about other than serial killer like I said. The next book my mom actually picked out because she said that it looked like something I would be into and she was definitely correct. It's another thriller suspense novel but it is called A Noise Downstairs by Linwood Barclay. The tagline sounds really cool which is why I agreed to purchasing it but it says you're either losing your mind or about to lose your life and I'm sorry but Sounds intriguing to me, so I bought. The next book I have is part of a series that I read the first book to, which was The Prophecy of Sisters, and this is The Guardian of the Gates by Gabrielle Zink. And I said when I read The Prophecy of Sisters that if I found the second book, I'd read it, but I wasn't gonna go out of my way to find it, and it happened to be at the thrift store, so I snatched it up. We got it now, we're gonna read it. I think I gave that book a 3.5, so I mean I enjoyed it, so now we can continue on with the story and see what's going on with the sisters. And this is a like paranormal angel demon kind of thing, but it was enjoyable. So now we're gonna read the second book. The next book I bought because it said on the back, I eat people. And I just thought, you know, that could be fun time. Not eating people, just the book would be, that came out so wrong. I don't condone eating people, but you know what I'm saying. But it is Cracked by Eliza Crew. It is the first book in the Soul Eaters series. So we're not actually eating people, we're eating people's souls, which is just better, okay? Don't eat people. The next book that I have is called Between, and this is by Jessica Warman, and I bought this because of the tagline. It says, there were six people on the boat that night, and when they awoke, there were five. So, you know, thriller, death, we into it, and also the cover was creepy looking, so I was like, need it. And then the final book that I have is because I needed another one because it was like the buy four get one free kind of deal and I've seen the cover around before. I haven't heard anybody talk about it but I was like I've heard of it so we're gonna get it. And it is Betwixt by Tara Barre Smith. I'm pretty sure I own a copy of this book already but it's like the library binding so this one is just nicer because it's not library binding. I don't spend my money 
very smartly, okay? I'm sorry, people. I just don't. The logic of Jan doesn't make sense. We should all be over this by now. All I know about this book is that it's like fairies. So we like fairies in this house. All right, guys. So that was my little book haul for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.